And welcome back to High School Sports Extra presented by Nicolet National Bank. The Packerland Conference leading Kiwani Boys basketball team has won 12 of its last 13 games. And joining me now to talk all things Storm Hoops is their head coach, Luke Neitzel. Luke, glad to have you on the program. Thanks for having me. Well, uh, you took over a program three years ago. Uh, the varsity team had only won two, two games the year prior. You built it up to nine in your first season. 14 last year. You're already up to 15 wins this year. What has been the key to the turnaround within the program as a whole, and what did, kind of stamp did you want to put on this thing in your first head coaching job? For sure. Um, to be honest, I think it came in at the right time. I have a lot of really good kids in the program right now. Um, a lot of just Kiwani's full of good people, good kids. Um, kids, uh, you know, starting out the first year, the kids are really excited to get to work. They worked hard each day, and that's kind of um, the stamp that they left for you know these last couple years. And it's things have started to progress. You know, got kids in year three. Uh, with me now, so we're starting to see you know, some of the benefits of that. How important is that? Like you said, you come in at a time, you got a good group, uh, you kind of set the tone of what you want to do, and then you see it build every year because you implement things and then they get familiar with how you want to play. Absolutely, yeah. You have the, the familiarity with one another and then you know, the experience is something that's, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's cliche, but it's true. You know, experience wins games when it, when it comes down to it. So Yeah, and you've been around basketball your, your whole life, but to get that first head coaching job had to be a, a big thrill for you. Um, in your first go around here, for those maybe that are looking to get into it or are just starting this year, what was kind of the, the thing you didn't expect, or, or, were you, or did you come in pretty much knowing what you were getting into? I don't know. I felt like I had. I felt like I had a grasp on things, but uh, that, that first, the first couple of years, I feel like there's always um, things that just keep getting thrown at you in every direction. But got a lot of good people that surround me and keep, you know, help keep me organized, and that uh, that's kind of what's helped us stay afloat. So. And and the final call is always in your hands, right? You got to make that final decision. <laughs> exactly. All right. Well, uh, on Thursday, you kept your uh, one-game lead in Packerland Conference play with an 81 to 53 win. Over NEW Lutheran, you guys started fast. A lot of defense leading to fast break offense. And for someone like myself who got the chance to watch your team in person for the first time this year, the guard play really stood out. And tell us a little bit about Alex Rohr and, and Ryan Carmichael because they did a little bit of everything. And if you see some of these highlights, Carmichael was showing off like the complete uh, menu of finishes around the rim, wasn't he? Yeah, absolutely. It was a, it was a fun game. I think uh, you know, guard play is something that stood out for us at, this year on, I guess, Guard and post play, but guards especially, they're doing a good job getting the ball up in transition, making plays right now. Um, Ryan's always been a kid that's been able to get to the rack and make plays. Alex has always been a kid that can you know, step out and knock down a couple shots. I feel like they've got a really good supporting cast around them that's helping out the best out of them on a nightly basis. And the attacking defense, you guys just didn't stop. How much is that key to what you guys want to be? Yeah, absolutely. Defense is gonna, you know, get, get you where you want to be come the end of the year, and that's that's something that the kids are bought into right now. So. Hopefully they keep that up come the last couple of weeks of the regular season. I think we count that as a dunk, right? Do we do we give it to him? He got up just enough for that one. I'll say yes here, but I told him I told him otherwise the other day. It was, it was we'll call it a dunk. It was close. <laughs> All right, let's go back to the start of the week. It was your first Monday contest of the year, and it was a nice challenge. It was a non-conference test against a shy octave team that came in with only what two losses in the season, and in the end, it's a quality 75-70 win on the road. Now we only have a handful of games left, so when you get these you know, kind of a game against a team that you don't know all that well mm -hmm. around playoff team time who's really successful. How nice is that to, to have this late in the year, a game like that? Yeah, I think that's the biggest thing coming from that is just the opportunity to play a non-conference non -game, conference game of that caliber right now. You know, that's, that's I mean, definitely helped, helped us grow and it's going to hopefully help us reach some of our bigger goals. You know, going back to what we said at the beginning, that's, um, I think that was one of our games where experience kind of took over at the end and that's, it's one of those wins that we, that we needed to just give us give us that confidence going forward. And you got to think at some point you're going to win, some, have to win some games and some rowdy gyms on the road. So it was good to get one there. Now the Packerland Conference has been owned by Southern Door in recent years. The Eagles have won the league title five straight years. You edged them by a single point earlier this year, and you'll have a huge rematch to end the regular season. Um, you know, you also split home and away with Sturgeon Bay this year. Um, they had you your first conference loss, but you beat them pretty handily the first time around. So, you know, a lot of people go to Door County to vacation, but when you're going there to play basketball, it's a different story, isn't it? Absolutely, Those yeah. two teams, uh, Southern Door in particular, because you, like you said, a one-point game, and, and they are kind of the team you have to beat. W what makes them so tough? Uh, there's, there's a ton of things that make those make them a great opponent. I um, mean, obviously, they got Claflin and Dallas. They're, they're great playmakers, got great supporting cast around them. Um, 
I got to meet Pete for the first time uh, about a month ago. He seems like a great guy, and I've heard nothing but but positive about him. So they're, they're very well coached, and that that shows on a nightly basis. And Sturgeon Bay can beat anybody on any given night too. You mentioned Claflin, Ryan Claflin. Will he'll be uh, a lot of people will be talking about him in the coming years. He's going to be playing for the Green Bay Phoenix at the college level uh, starting next year. And well, if anyone sees your team in person, one player that will jump out right away. Is this guy Tanner Bordellini, six foot six, somewhere north of what 280 pounds? He earned a football scholarship with the Badgers. He looks like he's built to play on the inside of the offensive line, but playing on the hardwood, showing off his versatility. What's it been like to coach Tanner? Tanner's a phenomenal kid to coach. Um, grown great player, uh, even better kid. He's, you know, he's one of the kids that we talk about just. You know, coming and wanting to work and get better each day. He's uh, he's a leader by example and uh, just a leader for his teammates and kind of that confidence pillar that we need. And sometimes, you know, you hear about specialization and whatnot, but when you see a guy of his caliber of, you know, a, a high-level recruit for a football, you know, scholarship and giving it his all with his teammates out there, this is fun, right? You're in high school. Why not play as many sports as you can? Exactly, and that's that's 100% his mentality. All right, let's take a look at the upcoming schedule. This is how you finish off the regular season, the longest season in high school sports, but, man, it flies by, doesn't it? Absolutely. You got uh, Ado Canto and Peshtigo next week, and then Sevastopol, and we finish off the year. Southern Door, that could be, you know, we don't want to look too far ahead, but you, it, down the line, that could be for the conference outright. What are you thinking as you look at these games to finish off the year? It's definitely a tough schedule, and we're taking it one game at a time. So. <laughs> that, see, you might be a first-time head coach in your third year, but you got the coach speak down. I appreciate right. it. Well, thank Thanks. you very much for being here, and best of luck down the road and into the postseason. Thanks much. Thanks for having me. All right, when we come back on High School Sports Extra, we're going to take our final time out, but when we return, the Local 5 Top 5 Plays, Team of the Week, and more. So keep it here.